Hello everyone, in this quick lesson, I'm gonna show you two ways to use the Texture Deformer in order to displace your geometry. Now for the first example, I'm gonna create some basic terrain by creating a plane. And on this plane, I wanna add some divisions just based on how detailed that I want it to be. In this case, I want it to be fairly detailed, so I'm gonna set my divisions to 300. Now I want to zero out my transformations and I want to delete the history. And then in the modeling menu set, I'm going to go to deform and texture deformer. In the texture deformer attributes, I'm going to go to the texture input, create a file node. And then in this file node, I'm going to select my height map. And it's that easy. Now, I can further manipulate this texture node by increasing my strength, and I can bump this above two, so I can do something like four. Whatever it takes to sort of achieve the look that I'm going for here. Now, in the file node itself, I can go to the Place 2D Texture node, and I can repeat. So if I want to repeat that file, in this case, it's not repeatable, as we can see. But if I want to, I can. I can also make it smaller, which will in turn make my terrain larger. Now, not only can we use this with image file nodes, but we can also use this with procedural nodes and on more complex models. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to create a new scene. I'm gonna to go to my content browser and I'm gonna load in just this basic head. And on this basic head, I'm gonna add a normal standard surface material I'm going to use my smooth function to give it divisions, maybe something like two. I'm then going to freeze my transformations and delete my history and then create a texture deformer. Now, in this case, rather than a file node, what I'm going to do is create a water node. So I want to achieve sort of like a cool animated effect on this model. So sort of like the face is rippling. So I'm going to create a water node. And the first thing that we want to do is change our, um, our point space here from UV to local. And I want to change my direction here from handle to normal. Now in the water node itself, I want to turn off this fast function. And then I can begin sort of manipulating this to achieve the effect that I want. So in this case, I want my amplitude to be fairly high, but I want the wave frequency to be fairly low. Maybe something like that. We have a subwave frequency we can mess around with, and we have a smooth smoothness function we can mess around with. We can ch also change the number of waves. And I can animate this using the wave time slider. Now, a really easy way to sort of just automatically have this animate is to use a quick expression here, which is equals time, which will basically uh, animate this based off of my time slider as we hit play. We can see that this is animating very slowly, so I want to increase my velocity. And I can bump this above one, so we can try five. maybe eight. Right, and then I can further manipulate this. And 
until I achieve the effect that I want. I think I want to increase the number of waves here and then really drop the amplitude to get more of a random effect here. And then that's sort of the, the look that I'm going for. Now back in the Texture Deformer node, we can add a fall off. So uh, over here where it says fall off, I'm going to right click and add a primitive fall off. And what that will do is create this little primitive sphere that I can then increase in size. And my effect will only appear inside of that sphere. Right now, after you do this, you may want to go back into your uh, texture node, texture deformer node and increase the strength a bit. But now as we hit play, we can see this effect only happening within the boundaries of that fall off node. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have ideas or questions about how to do something else in Maya, please let me know. I'd be happy to make a video for you. Until then, I'll see you next time.